hand, I have $20. And I'm about to find out if this is enough money to pay for food, accommodation, and transportation for one whole day here in the city of Mexico. This is $20 traveling. So folks, you won't believe this. I was just walking down the street and I ran into Luisito. Hey guys, what's up? This guy is a vlogger phenomenon here, living in Mexico City for how many years? I've been living in Mexico for, well, Mexico City, I think 10 years now. Okay. Yeah. So you know a lot about this city. No, I love this city. This is my town. I mean, I love it. I love it. We're looking for the most budget style Places you can go if you're a traveler. Where yeah. would you recommend for the city? Have you tried the chapulines? Yes. That is yeah. so Mexican. Yeah, we tried them in uh, Oaxaca. Yeah. yeah, they're from that area. Those are so, so Mexican. Yeah. I would say the ta tacos de canasta. Have you tried these? Taco de canasta means basket tacos. And you can get like five or six for 10 pesos for 50 cents of a dollar. Have a great time in Mexico City and come visit. This part of Mexico, not dangerous at all. So exactly. friendly, so cool. Exactly. Visit Mexico City, yeah. Well, just wasn't able to get the van fixed. We're just gonna have to take the Metro, come on. Good morning folks from Mexico City. Behind me, they're cutting up the tacos de pastor. I got an order of three tacos and it's only 30 pesos. That's a dollar fifty for this breakfast here. I'm excited. Perfect way to start the day. Let's go. If you go to any restaurant throughout Mexico, you're gonna probably see that tacos de pastor are the first item on every menu, but these tacos come from Mexico City. So this is about as Mexico City as it gets for a breakfast. Oh, they're perfectly cooked, a little bit crispy on the outside. I mean, this is a perfect taco de pastor. These guys are killing it here. And all for only $1.50. Awesome breakfast. Bro, ven aquí. Estos son los mejores tacos de pastor de que he probado en todo el medio. Yo no. Serio. Yo lo hago con amor. That's it. it. He makes these tacos with love, and honestly, I can tell. These are made with love. Gracias, amigo. Folks, I think I'm gonna take a little taxi here. They have these rickshaws going around the town. It's like a really traditional way to travel here in Ciudad de Mexico. Hey, excuse me. Oh, what? Zócalo, zócalo. Hey, Parvati. Kimmy. ¿Qué estás haciendo? This is my job now. What? Yes. You drive? Would you like a ride? <laughs> You're very strong to be yes. able to pull me. Uh, actually, I'm heading to the Zocalo. Could you take me to the Zocalo, please? Yeah, you're here. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So we're here. This is the Zocalo. Oh yeah! Wow. Thanks for the ride. So. Why do you keep working all these strange jobs? I mean, first you were a yogi. Carrying. Then you're a lifeguard. Uh, yeah. Then you're selling medicinal herbs. Carrying. Now you're driving a rickshaw? You know what? Quit these jobs and come travel with me. Uh, mm, I don't know. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Come on. Get off this bike. Okay. That's all. Hola. Would you like this bike? Okay. So I just saw a 
traditional organ grinder here that's like totally typical of Mexico City. And I asked him what kind of instrument he was playing. I don't think it's as simple as just cranking the lever. I think that there's more to it. Either way, it's, it's, it's a cool art. I respect it. I gave him five pesos. And here we are with the beautiful view of the Zocalo. Yeah. What are they doing down there? It is a military exposition. What's that building over there? That is the Casa Presidencial. Uh, okay. like, a... like the White House in Mexico, right there. This is a gordita on the side of the road here in Mexico City. There's chicharron, fatty pork, there's queso, salsa verde. Sitting here in a little plastic chair. I got my little Mexican family next to me, sharing these gorditas with me. It's a guy who set up a supermarket shopping cart to be some kind of a street food grill. He's making tacos here, he's selling each taco for 13 pesos. This is amazing. This, this looks spicy right here. Now it's time to enjoy this uh, shopping cart produced street taco. <laughs> okay, I just finished that gordita, that taco. Both were delicious, but both were very heavy, okay? I'm feeling like I need a little espresso or a coffee or yes, something. Yes, coffee time! Behind me is Cafe X. It's kind of a famous cafe in Mexico City. Hola, amigo. After that gordita and the taco, this is exactly what I need, a little espresso. What do you rate this coffee here at Cafe X? Mm. Seis. Seis. Okay, she gives it a six. She got the Americano, I got the espresso. 7.5 for me. And it's got a strong roasted flavor, really bold. Cafe X, here in the heart of Mexico City in the historic district. It's a beautiful cafe. They make the coffee fresh right there in front of you. You give them a little ticket. I mean, and it's only 20 pesos. So. And, and sitting in these chairs, yeah. it's really nice. La Santa Muerte es una imagen muy popular mexicana y las personas le rinden culto también. Tú puedes encontrar alrededor de toda la Ciudad de México muchas Santa Muertes en la esquina y la gente llega y les da ofrendas, les pone dinero. Buy one of these ones. It's just 10 pesos. Verde. ¿Te compro una Santita Muerte? Sí, amiga. Ok, sí. Gracias. Ok. Bye. Nice. Let me see it. Something to remember Mexico City by. In the Indian culture, Ganesh is the song of Parvati. And I'm Parvati. <laughs> okay, my son, leave you here with your friends. Having fun, be good. See you later.
¿Qué le damos, amigo? Pásenle el taquito de canasta. ¿Qué le damos? I would say the ta tacos de canasta. Have you tried these? When Luisito gives you a recommendation, you take that recommendation, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I see this guy selling tacos de canasta here. It's only nine pesos for one. A dos con papa, por favor. Yeah. It's a taco filled with potatoes. This is pure carbohydrates. Here in Mexico City, you gotta recognize that the number one food group there is tacos. Um. All the folks that are selling things on the streets here have these little walkie talkies and that's so that they can communicate with each other because they're all selling things illegally on this side of the road. So if they see the police coming, they can be like, hey, police are coming. And everyone picks up their stuff and runs. So it's really organized here on the streets of Mexico City. It's cool. Oh, wait, I'm getting a message. Yeah. Hey, well, the police are coming, guys. Come on. Saludos a Estados Unidos. Allá les caigo el otro año. We're here in this marketplace that's selling basically every kind of Mexican sweet that you can imagine. You have to walk through a cloud of bees. So if you're allergic to bees, this is probably not the best place for you to come. I got a ball of tamarind here, and it's I guess it's with chilies. Got the seeds. It tastes like if barbecue sauce were a dessert, it would be this. bottle of water we got for 10 pesos. Well, before I drink out of this. The magical cup. Wherever you want to drink from the bottle, I'll drink from the cup this time. <laughs> okay. I always give you the cup. <laughs> okay. Okay. Salud. Salud. Mantenerse hidratado. Oh yeah. palabras típicas mexicanas. Mi sangre, mi carnal. Eres el mero machín de aquí. Él es el mero machín. I'm looking online for a hostel now. And it looks like there's a place, Aspiraje La Colonial. And it's only $3 a night. This is such a cheap place. So we're gonna go and put my stuff down there. And I'm thinking maybe in that neighborhood, there's gonna be a lot of cheap stuff. So let's go see. Adios, adios, que les vaya bien. So we're gonna take line two, four stops to exit Hidalgo. Alright folks, you know the drill. Wherever you're traveling, make sure you're exercising. And in this video, I just wanna say, if you have the choice between an escalator and the stairs, always take the stairs. A lot of people told us before we came here that it was gonna be really dangerous. Exactly, everyone say, take care Mexico, DC. And I was a little scary, yeah. and now it's super surprising because the people is so nice in yeah. every place. Yeah, like honestly, these are some of the nicest people I've met throughout Mexico. I gotta say Mexico City is surpassed my expectations big time. Mexico, DC. Besos. Yeah. Hey, love you too, bro. They say I love you. Yeah, dude, even <laughs> even like the, the guys just walking down the street, people are just so nice here. So if you're thinking about visiting Mexico City, don't even hesitate. This place is a hidden gem in Mexico for traveling. Okay. La siesta? <laughs> yeah, vamos a la hostel. We still gotta check into the hostel, so let's go. <laughs> We're getting close to the hostel now. This is definitely not the best neighborhood in Mexico City. I can see why. 
This place is only $3 a night. I'm actually kind of excited to see what the hostel looks like. Okay, folks, we are arriving at Hospedaje La Colonia. This is the cheapest hostel in all of Mexico City. I just got my bed number 191. Let's go check it out. Estoy buscando mi cama. 191. Arriba. 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 Sí. Ah, ok. Subiendo las escaleras. Ah, ok. Aquí. Gracias. This place is awesome. I feel like I'm in jail right now. Even the windows have bars on them. Hospiraje La Colonia. It's only $3 a night. But I mean, you, you get what you pay for. I've stayed in like a hundred hostels. This has to be the worst hostel I've ever been in in my entire life. What do you think, Harvey? An interesting experience. Yeah. <laughs> You're so romantic, thank you so much. Right, it's perfect. There's three beds. We got the one in the middle, the most romantic. <laughs> I finally found a place in the neighborhood that's gonna be able to shave me for a reasonable price. 50 pesos, this guy said at this barber shop. So it's time to get a shave. Come on. You gotta take it out. This guy's he's smoking a blunt right outside. Just left Imperial Barberia and wow, that was awesome. Those guys were so cool. And he just gave me a shave for 50 pesos. Man, okay, now we're ready to head to the most expensive area of Mexico City, the Roma District. Come on. We have arrived in Roma Norte. This is a really nice area of Mexico City. I mean, it already looks and feels totally different from where we just were. Exactly, wow, and so different. So, beauty. Yeah, it's beautiful. But we're in the north part of the Roma district now and we're gonna walk to Roma Sur, the southern part, because there's a vegan taco joint on the side of the road yeah. there. Yeah, so let's go check it out. Five tacos al pastor, 50 pesos. Unfortunately, there's no seats. Everyone's just kind of leaned up against the wall. Oh my god, I'm super happy with finding a place with vegan tacos here in La Ciudad de México. Hey, this is Agua de Jamaica and refilled. Nice. ¿Cuánto cuesta? 15 pesos. 15 pesos, ok. Cinco de pastor. Una simple de pastor para mí. Cinco de pastor para mí. Vengano, muy rico, sabroso los taquitos. Your vegan tacos al pastor. This is our romantic dinner in our beautiful table. Provecho. <laughs> <laughs> The best vegan tacos I've never tried. Oh my God. Everyone needs to come to Mexico this year and try these ones. Yeah. Um, milanesa with avocado. Look at me, I'm ah, desesperate. Como se dice desesperado? Desperate. Desperate for eating. Oh, mm. oh yeah, mm. it's all juicy. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so delicious, oh my God. Okay, we have eaten a ton of vegan tacos together, okay, but of all the vegan tacos I've eaten, this place is the best. 
por siempre vegano here in Mexico City es el mejor. Let's get a vegan donut here too. Like we can, we still have money to spend. Let's be lavish and get a donut. <laughs> Back to the romantic dinner table. We got the donut. We got the tacos. We got the agua de jamaica. What else could you ask for? All of this for 90 pesos. And now I'm going to show you a magic trick and I'm going to make half the donut disappear. Now, the another half is going to disappear. I can talk. It was a big bite. <laughs> This place is amazing. Gotta love it. Okay, folks. We stopped at a bar called the Beer Box, and at this point, I'm just trying to spend the rest of my money. This is a 35 peso beer. And of course, we have the magical cup. Come on. Casi I'm so done. I can't. <laughs> Come on, the day is almost over. <laughs> vamos. Okay, vamos. Okay, today we're walking 21,000 steps. Wow. We finished. Let's go to the hostel. Let's please. go. Okay, come on, vamos. It's been a long day here in Mexico City, and we are about to get back on the metro to head to the hostel. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know which cities we should visit next. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Ta-ta!